Hi everyone, Cheryl here. So I wanted to share with you the projects that I created for Tamika's uh, Christmas slash winter shaped tag swap. So for this one, you had to create a shaped tag. It had to have at least two embellishments as well as some pattern paper on it. Um, and it had to fit basically like in the palm of your hand. It couldn't be too much bigger. So um, let me go ahead and get started. I can show you some of the things that I used and then get to showing you the tags. So I use this paper stack by my mind's eye. It's called Lost and Found Christmas. Really, really, really pretty papers. Love these little tags that they have on the back, um, the back page. So I use this one. This stack is from last year. I don't know if they have it this year. Maybe they do and it's just in a different packaging. Um, when I was in Michael's yesterday, I um, did see some of the papers from last year just in a different packaging or even the year before. I use these two dies. This one is the pocket watch frame, this die here, and then I also used the side circles or sized circles. I use this one here and I use the largest one. I also use some of this twine. It's gold and white and this is by Recollections. I use the stamp set here by Heidi Swap in order to get the two from because the tag did have to have two from on the back. Um, and I also use some flowers from Ashland, which is at Michael's as well. But um, I'll show you, well, you'll see that in a second. So I'm going to show you how they're packaged up because they're all packaged up and ready to go. But then I also made some extras. So I'll be able to show you the tag that way as well. So this is how the packs um, for these. I originally started out with another one. And obviously my mojo was not here. She left, went on vacation or something because... I just was not feeling that tag and I had to wait a couple days before I was actually able to make this one and I absolutely positively love this one. So let me pick it up and show it to you guys a little bit more in detail. So <clears throat> this is the twine and this is the string and it's just that loop right here at the top so it's easy enough to take apart if you guys don't want to use this one or I left a lot of um, string on it so if you want to cut some of it down you can. So. It has been stickled pretty much all over. So there is pattern paper in the back, which extends up here to the top right here. And then there's more pattern paper right here. It is stacked up um, about four layers to create the dimension so that I could have the shaker. So this is a wild record craft flower that has been stickled. This is a snowflake that you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And then that's a bling piece right there in the center of it. And that is from Hobby Lobby as well. This sentiment here, happy holidays to you and yours. That's my camera not focusing. Here we go. Happy holidays to you and yours. I stickled the edges of it. I waved it up and cut it like a banner. Um, that is from Hobby Lobby. The snowman right here, that is from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I stickled all around the rim. And then there's just an assortment of um, sequins on the inside. And then this snowflake right here, some of the sequins are getting caught on it. Um, that's just two snowflakes that I punched using um, a Hobby Lobby punch. And then that's just a bling center from Hobby Lobby as well. Okay, so super, super cute. And then this is the way the back looks. There's paper on the back. This is the inside of this piece here on the outside. So I just put that piece right there and then I use one of my EK Success punches and then stamped two from and then I took a gold leafing pen and then edged the, edged the around it with it to create that nice really pretty gold border. So that's my tag. Um, the, I used two different Wild Orchid Craft flowers at the top. So this one's a little bit of a darker red but still super pretty. They are really all the same. Um, there isn't really too much different except the snowman and then maybe the color flower because the back is the same too. And then this one here, really pretty. Sorry for the glare. And there's the back. Okay, so when you cut out, if you guys decide to do one of these, when you cut it out, if you cut the piece out, the pocket watch just as is, there's a little square metal piece in the middle to keep the inside from being cut or basically to keep it from kind of sinking in. So it cuts out like this. If you use one of the circles, which is the second die that I showed you, and stick that in the middle instead of the little wood piece, it will cut out like this. 
okay so all I did was I trimmed this piece off right here and just threw that out and then I used four of these and just stacked them up and then um, you know put your acetate piece down and then you're able to put the other pattern paper down the top piece right here and close it up once you've got all your little bits in there that you want to have for the shaker okay so I hope you guys really really like these tags I love them way better than what I originally started with it's cute but it's not this so thank you guys so much for watching um, I hope you all um, have a great day and I will talk to you soon bye bye